Hello everyone, we will continue the topic dynamic functions using PF status. And in the previous video, we took a requirement based upon that requirement. We have a select option for sales order number. We have three radio buttons, save, transfer and post. We have written the logic. We are displaying the data. We have a PF status and in that PF status, we have three functions or three buttons in the application toolbar. Now, what is our requirement? Our requirement is whenever this first radio button is ticked, we only only want the save function. We do not require other two function. Whenever transfer radio button is ticked, I want this transfer function. I do not want these two functions. Whenever post radio button is ticked, I want only post function. I do not want save and transfer function. Then how, how we will achieve this simple, simple understanding. Whenever save radio button is ticked, we will simply exclude these two functions. Whenever transfer radio button is ticked, we will simply, simply exclude these two functions. Whenever post radio button is ticked, we will simply exclude these two functions. One of the most important question from the interview perspective, generally interviewer will ask, suppose you created 15 or 20 buttons or functions using PF status, you only want to display the selected function or you want to hide the other functions, you want to exclude the other functions, how, how you can do that? And this is our topic. Now, what we will do, I will write the logic and you will get the more more understanding for the same. And here, the function code will play a vital role. We will exclude based upon the function code because every button, what is the unique thing? Unique thing is function code. If I will go for this PS status, what is the function code of first button? Save, save is the function code. Whenever, say second button, the function code transfer. For this third button, the function code is post. So simple understanding. Whenever we have this save, whenever we have save radio button is ticked, we will exclude the function code transfer and post. Whenever transfer radio button is ticked, we will exclude the function code save and post. Whenever post radio button is ticked, we will exclude the function code save and transfer. This is the only only answer and the understanding. Whenever interviewer will ask, you can simply say yes. We will simply simply exclude those function code of the buttons. Anyways, rest is the logic part or demo part that we will do. Now, now how we will do this? Now, while creating the PF status itself, now here I am using one keyword excluding. Now, after excluding, I will pass the name of the internal table. Suppose I am saying LT underscore exclude. I will declare this LT underscore exclude. Now we will declare this internal table. Now to declare this internal table, firstly, I will create a structure. You all know we need to create a structure type. So I am creating a structure type. Begin of. Suppose I am writing LT Y underscore exclude. Suppose I'm giving some name. Suppose I'm saying F code. F code is function code. Suppose I'm giving length 10. Why I'm giving length 10? Just see. Because function code for first button save. Length is 4. Transfer 7 characters. Or I'll say post 4 characters. So maximum I can go for 7. You need to take the length in such a way that it can take the function code of each and every button. It should not be the case that you are taking a shorter length. So it will not take the function code of that button. So safer side, I'm taking 10. 
suppose if you have a bigger button if you have a function code length is bigger then you need to take the bigger length here suppose i am ending this particular structure Now I will declare the internal table and work area LT underscore exclude type table of LTY underscore exclude. Now I am going for work area LWA underscore exclude type LTY underscore exclude. Now I have the structure type internal table work area and only one column in the internal table because we only want to pass the function code. Yes. Now we will write the logic for the same. Whenever we will go for PF status, we are excluding the, we are excluding or we are passing this internal table. How, how we will do? Now I will write, if P underscore R1 is capital X, capital X means first radio button is ticked. Whenever first radio button is ticked, we want to exclude two function codes. One is post and one is transfer. Because whenever your save radio button is ticked, you want to exclude transfer and post function code. So how, how I will do? I will simply write LWA. I will just go for this LWA exclude. What is the column name we gave? F code is equal to what is the function code of the button transfer now i will write lwa exclude now i'll just simply go for firstly append append lwa exclude to lt underscore x so in this internal table, we have the function code of the second button transfer. Now I will clear the work area. And we will simply, simply clear the work area. Whenever first radio button is ticked, we are excluding the transfer function. Now we will exclude the post function. Please do not provide anything else. It should be function code because SAP will understand the function code of the button. Now, what is the function code for the third button? Post. Now, just see how it will work. Whenever first radio button is ticked, what is the function code of second button? Transfer. It will go to this internal table. But the function code of third button post, it will go to this internal table. So into this internal table, we have two function code, transfer and post. And this internal table, we are passing here. And what is the keyword we are using? Excluding. So SAP will simply, simply create the functions, but it will exclude those two functions. This is the extremely important concept from the interview perspective. You just need to tell the interviewer that you will use the excluding keyword and you will pass a internal table in which you have the function code of those buttons which you want to exclude. Now, same way, I need to write the logic for second radio button. Now we have this second radio button. I will go for P underscore R2 is capital X. Whenever your second radio button is ticked, means transfer radio button is ticked, you want to exclude save and post. Now we will go for third. Whenever your third radio button is ticked, Now, whenever we will go for third radio button, yes, at that time, we need to go for transfer, save and transfer. 
Now I will check the syntax and I will activate. So whenever first radio button is ticked, it will simply fill this internal table with transfer and post and they will exclude. Whenever second radio button is ticked, it will simply exclude save and post. It will simply simply exclude save and post. Whenever third radio button is ticked, it will fill this internal table with save and transfer and they will be excluded. Yes. Now, what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely important video from the interview perspective, from the syntax perspective. Generally, interviewer always asks, okay, you have 15 functions, you have 20 functions. You only want to display the selected functions, how you can achieve this. The answer is you will simply, simply use the excluding keyword and you will pass the internal table. What is into that internal table? In that internal table, you will pass the function code of the buttons which you want to exclude. Now, in the next video, we will simply understand each and everything in the debugging mode. So, if some confusion is there, it will be automatically clear. So, that's it in this video. Thank you.